of the morning to you. We're back on Leprechaun News. This is Seamus O'Houlihan reporting from Dublin. In local news, our favorite movie is still Rudy, and our favorite food is still corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> Nationally, politicians sense a lawsuit brewing between the leprechauns and the homosexual community over the use of the rainbow as a symbol for their party. <laughs> the leprechauns argue that they have had the knowledge of refracted light for centuries. But the homosexuals have chosen this natural phenomenon because of its, and I quote, fabulous colors and delicious design. <laughs> Both are considered equally substantive arguments that the judicial branch will have to take into serious consideration. And now to Higgins. Thank you, Seamus. Top of the morning to ya. We had quite the hubbub in Ireland last night to be in St. Patrick's Day and all. Those damn tourists just can't seem to mind their own business. Every St. Patrick's Day, we get a group of over-eager foreigners trying to catch their very own leprechaun and find their pot of gold. Well, not this year. Awareness has grown in past years, and this year, some of our crafty youths got together to show them just who they're messing with. We received this video for the... Come on, human intern, let's speed this up. <laughs> we received this video footage this morning. Gold, I was at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> As we like to say, when you mess with a leprechaun, you get the shillelagh. <laughs> Back to you, Seamus. <laughs> Let's see what the weekend will be like with weather. Eh, Patrick? Patio tool. Patio tool. Patio tool. That's what I said. Top of the morning to you, Seamus. Th this weekend we got plenty of showers, which as you know means quite a few rainbows. Lower. <laughs> Not really sure why that is exactly, but it's easy enough to blame it on magic. Top of the morning to you. Um, rainbows being our prime mode of transportation means heavy traffic going from all areas of Ireland and South Boston. Uh, there will be a high concentration of lollygaggers in the north trying to out head southwest in search of more gold, and so I'd suggest to stay close to home and wait for upcoming showers to make your travel arrangements. And now to Delilah with sports. <laughs> Top of the morning, kid. Thank, Thank you, Patrick. Patty, you're too. Thank you, Patty. Patty, you're too. Thank you, Patty, you're a tool. <laughs> anyway, had to bring you great news in sports. Hey, human, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, we're just eating some food. Eating? We don't pay you to eat. Now get over there and fix that projector, you giant freak of nature! <laughs> Gee, it's not like I took your lucky charms or anything. What did you just say? You think that's all we do? You think we're just obsessed with marshmallow with cereal? You should just both be Barney Stone, you stupid human. Anyway, back to sports. I'm proud to bring a great news of the Fighting Irish beating the Keebler Elves in rugby. 3 nil. Seems as though those elves should spend a little less time Bacon and trees and a little more time practicing rugby. <laughs> Back to you, Seamus. <laughs> Thank you. And that is all from Leprechaun News. Stay tuned for six hours of Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Good night. And, and top, top of the morning, morning to you.